And here what you will see is different tabs with different information. Let's focus on the first one. What you can see is the current services that we have in our internal network. We have six services, as you can see here. Well, you can see the overall health of the service right now and historical data. And also you can see the availability of the service. Obviously the health will be quite impacted by the availability, but these are two different KPIs. And here also you can see the history of the availability of the service. What's quite cool is that, for example, if you want to focus in one of the services, for example, I can see that the Pulsar service has been struggling a little bit during the day and also during night. You can always click here and get more information about that particular service. And yeah, I can see based on the goal lines that sometimes this service struggle a little bit. Okay, for some managers, this is gonna be enough. This is fine. I can see that we had some issues yesterday. We had some issues this morning, but at this point in time, everything looks fine. I don't have to worry about anything. But some of the managers would like to drill down a little bit, have more information about what is going on. From this report, we also give these capabilities. If the manager is fine with this, happy days. If the manager wants to get more, they can always come here and drill down to the business application report where they will get all the information they need about this service. And then you can go up to availability and you will see that yes, yesterday during night, we had some issues with availability, but as you can see, these issues are normal. You can see this in the baseline because this is like a, normally during night, maybe you reboot machines, they go under maintenance mode. This is kind of normal, that that shouldn't be a problem. However, here I can see that, yeah, this availability, this was not so normal. This probably impacted the health of the, of the application. Now everything is looking good, so I don't have anything to worry about. But at least I can have some of the information. Also, I can have mm, visibility, visibility of other areas of this service that could have impacted as well the, the, the health of the system. I can see that, yeah, we have here a lot of traffic at this time of the day in the morning. So maybe that impacted, I can see the applications and actually can see that the postal application also had a little spike here. I could go to the IPSLA. So basically you have a full visibility of what's going on and what can impact that uh, specific service. But again, this is for those managers that want to have a little bit more information about what's going on on that uh, particular service. Now we are happy, we can always go back and continue with our review. And now, once we are happy with this uh, status of the services, we can go to the global one network. Because something that managers and executives always want to see is the status of the internet connections. They spend a lot of money on these technologies, hence the, the race of services or new technologies like SD1. So that's something very important. And what we can see here is the current health of these uh, connections. We have the five offices. We can see that we have two different connections. We have the primary and the secondary connections. And actually it's quite easy to see that, yeah, we're having an issue with one of these connections. These primary connections are having issues. Everything that we're seeing here is very easy to identify and very easy to understand. We use this color coding, green, yellow, red, that allows us to understand very, very easily the current status of the network. And that's actually the main focus that we have on this kind of reporting for executive, make it easier to understand. Okay, the thing is that, yeah, I can see that we have a small problem or some problems on the primary link. We're gonna have a look at that. The overall health doesn't look too bad. And actually, if you have a look here, yeah, it looks that we had some issues yesterday in the Chicago office that actually looks like the same one as here. So maybe we're having the same issues. The rest of them all look fine. Okay, how can we do that? How can we review more information about this particular uh, internet connection? Well, the thing is, as we mentioned before, some managers will be happy to stop here saying this is all I need to know. I have any issues here. I will tell them to fix it. Or some people will learn to have more information, will want to drill down. We also have these capabilities here. We can click here, we can go to the global one health, where we're gonna have a complete view of what's going on on this office. 
And if, for example, let's scroll down here, we can see that, yeah, we had a spike, it's covering, it's having a spike on this one of the interfaces. It's not impacting severely yet the health of the, of the office, but it might do. But also you can see that, yeah, yesterday we saw that with some of the health was not great. We can see that, yeah, we had a spike here. Which application? Well, actually I can see that the Netflix, a little bit, telepresence. So there is a few applications that spike here at this point that impacted on that issue that we had at that point in time. Also, as we mentioned, yeah, the issue that we saw the red line of one of the interfaces is this spike here. The thing is that the health of the one network is not only impacted by the traffic utilization, there are other reasons why this can be impacted. And here we have some of them as well. We have the quality. We can see that, yeah, look at here, we had some issues with the one quality. This is basically an IPSL operation monitoring the quality of the link. Here we are having it as well. We could have errors. In this case, we don't have errors. So basically, when we drill down, we have the full visibility of everything we need to know and why this is happening so the managers can understand the current situation. And also, if they want, they can go to the events to see the current alarms or alerts triggered for that particular site. Now, once we're happy, we can always go back. And something also that is going to be very important for the managers is the current capacity. And on this uh, section, we're going to see, actually, let me change this to the last eight hours. We're going to see that yeah, the average utilization is quite low, it's not a problem, but also the peak utilization, we are not reaching any kind of, uh, of threshold. So at the moment, I would say that for at least for the five hours, everything is looking good. And finally, what we're gonna see is the office health status. So another type of visualization. In this case, I want to see each of my offices, how they are doing. And in this case, what we're seeing is alerts for each site. We have the different sites here, and we can see that the London office is doing quite good. The San Francisco one maybe is not looking so great, and we can see the overall health. We can see also the severity, uh, the severity of the alerts for each of all the offices, and also some metrics like the response time, the CPU, and connections for our load balancers. The thing is that here we have everything changed. So if you want to focus on one office, for example, let's go to New York, you can see the alerts triggered on that particular office. And then we can see the, also the response time, the CPU, and the connections, giving us um, a high-level view of the current status and possible problems that we have. And if the managers still want to know more, we can always link this with the alert details to see the actual the issues that we're having. And you can see that here we have some issues with this device, breaching uh, some thrustles, and so on. Basically, we can give more or less visibility depending on the one the, 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 the manager that is looking to the reports. If they want to have a high level view, this is what we have. They can see all this high level information. If they want to drill down, they can do so as well. There will be some typical questions regarding how this report is built. For example, all these health indicators, how they are calculated, because availability is gonna be quite easy to understand, but these health indicators, how they're built. Basically, what we're doing in the background is using calculation polar using some uh, custom formulas, calculating the health. The thing is that we use the main KPIs like availability, CPU, memory, disk, interface traffic to create this health. If the CPU is low, memory is low, disk utilization is low, uh, and interface traffic is low, we consider that the health is good. But if the, there are spikes of CPU, of traffic, of memory, of any of these KPIs, then we consider that the health is not so good. And all this is calculated using calculation pod. And the same happened for any kind of, the, uh, of health indicator that is displayed here. And actually you can see, look at this now, it took some time to catch up and now we can see that the health of this office is quite bad because this link is having some performance issues as well as the, uh, as we saw the IPSLA operation. Another main question we'll see, okay, how can you group services? How is self when aware of services? Basically, what we're doing here is using object groups. What we're doing is that any object that can impact on one of the service, what we're gonna do is label them with a metadata attribute 
telling someone that this object is part of the service. So typical situation, we have a switch that is connected to different servers. For example, server A is the one for Pulsar, server B is for public websites. So those interfaces that are connected to those servers, we will tag them using metadata attributes that are part to that uh, specific service. The thing is that the CPU, the memory, and some other objects from that switch will be shared among the, the services because if the CPU is hide, the Pulsar application will be impacted, the public website, and some others. So basically, we have identified there are different ways to do that. I mean, we could use topology, we can use manual, we can use I don't know, any other way. We have identified each of the objects to which uh, services they can impact. We have created the object groups for that, and that's exactly what we're showing here. And with this, we finish the, the executive reporting. And just to resume again, the main thing is that we wanted to make easier to understand the information that we can see here. As you can see, using color coding is very, very simple to see the kind of status. If the managers wants to drill down, we always give the capability. If they don't want to do that, with this information should be enough. And also we provide the information to make sure that our SLAs are not brain page. And if they are, we have all the information here to give enough visibility to the managers to be able to respond to things. With this, I finish and thank you very much for watching. Thank you.